gas metal arc welding, wire feed speed versus voltage. Let's go ahead and begin with wire feed speed. Wire feed speed is measured in inches per minute, so IPM, inches per minute. And for example, a wire feeder can feed maybe 50 inches all the way up to 700, and that's just an example. Um, there could be different ranges, it depends on the actual power source. Wire feed speed actually controls amperage. That's really important to understand. So when you look at an actual, you know, constant voltage machine, a, a MIG welder, uh, you're not going to find just an amperage setting, okay? So we're going to look for wire feed speed. Yes, on a machine like this one, this is a 350P, uh, and that one, I believe you can go into the interface and actually change wire feed speed to amperage, but in most cases, we set it based on our are inches per minute but what's important to know is as wire feed speed goes up so does the amperage and vice versa wire feed speed goes down amperage goes down if you're gonna feed more wire you gotta have the heat there to melt the actual wire okay so look for more penetration turn up your wire feed speed uh, voltage is electrical pressure and this is really important to understand it controls your arc length okay so for example a constant voltage power source may allow the user to use anywhere from like 14 maybe to 30 ish 32 volts whatever it might be but somewhere in that ballpark where you can adjust your voltage and it's going to adjust your arc length the higher the voltage the longer the arc and the lower the voltage the smaller or shorter the arc so i made this little diagram here to show we have 16 volts you can see the arc length rather small maybe we bump it up to 19 volts little bit bigger and then we bump it up to 22 volts even bigger now obviously the the difference is not going to be something you're gonna you're gonna see with the naked eye um, yes it is longer but you you can't actually physically see this difference this is totally exaggerated okay so what I want to point out though is that when you run something at higher volts you're more likely to get uh, a more aggressive um, puddle I suppose or arc in a sense the chance of spatter goes up um, because what's happening is when we're talking short circuit MIG welding that wire is coming down and the distance is longer between here than it would be here and so the shorting arc of short circuit uh, MIG welding the shorting out happens a lot quicker here than it would here and you can completely hear the difference between 16 and 22 volts uh, it doesn't even really take a trained ear to to notice a difference um, as you continue to weld over time start to listen and you can really it's more than just looking at a puddle and watching the arc and everything else you can actually really listen to find that proper voltage wire feed speed relationship uh, just keep in mind, the, these two, there truly is a relationship. So let's say you have the perfect wire feed speed and voltage, and you're like, okay, I got 220 inches per minute, and I'm running at 17 volts. Great, it's working great. But now you're like, I need just a little bit more penetration. So I turn up my heat by increasing wire feed speed. If you left this, then it wouldn't be you know where you were so you actually have to turn this up with it um, that works for for a while and eventually you get in the high uh, wire feed speeds and voltages and, and everything changes uh, this is this video doesn't really get into the different modes of metal transfer but keep in mind that there is short circuit uh, mig welding there's globular mig welding and uh, spray mig welding and pulsed spray mig welding so there are different modes of transfer um, that can all be done with this machine right here okay all four with this one not all four with all machines but uh, definitely get into a couple of them with even just the smaller less expensive machines out there